everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a haul, but it's a clothing haul because I feel like I haven't done a clothing haul in so, so long. And I actually ordered this before I went to America with Disney. This was supposed to come hopefully in time for that, but it, it didn't on this occasion. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I know that we're now moving through winter and I am optimistic that we're on our way to spring because it's not quite dark outside yet and it's quite late on in the day. So that means that we're kind of on our way to spring, doesn't it? Am I being too optimistic? I think I am, aren't I? It's England. But I thought that I would show you these items anyway because Revolve just completely, like, it fascinates me, that website. It has such amazing stock and I feel like we have so much emphasis on ASOS in the UK but ASOS never has the stuff that Revolve has. There is so much stuff on Revolve that ASOS don't have. Like they have one of my favourite brands which is Alexis, has so much more free people stuff and Zimmerman and stuff like that. So I'll pop links to those brands as well down below so that you can go and check them out. Alexis is literally one of my favorites so um yeah definitely check out alexis but aside from that i am going to be unboxing this well i i didn't know what it was okay so i un i opened the box and i may have looked inside so it's open but i haven't taken everything out yet so here is the box it's a big old brown box i thought that we could open it and try it on together first up we have, which I was so excited to arrive and I cannot wait to try this on, oh my gosh. First up and out of the box is this jumper dress and I think it's safe to say that I'm obsessed with jumper dresses this season. Um, I've bought so many. This is another one. I'm not sorry. <laughs> This one is from the brand Lovers and Friends and it's in this kind of grey marl textured fabric but it also has, it's a little bit different, it's got this kind of like lace up style down the side and to the bottom so you have like bows here and I thought because this was a darker grey it would look really great with my Stuart Weitzman boots which I, you know what, I just don't ever wear, I never wear those. I feel like I need to wear them more because they just don't get the wear that they deserve. But yeah, so I'm going to be wearing this with my Stuart Weitzman boots. I haven't decided whether I'm going to wear this to an event. I think I might wear it because it's kind of like a casual but smart event and I just think that it looks so snuggly as well and with the boots it will really dress it up. I got this in an extra small and it retails for about £150. So it doesn't feel like an overly luxurious fabric, I'm not going to lie, but it is very, very snuggly and I'm very excited to see what it looks like on. So although the fabric hasn't impressed me, it does still feel snuggly. It doesn't feel like it's like a high-end fabric. And for 150 maybe I would expect a little bit more, but it might just be the style that you're paying for. So let's try it on and have a look. So I really like this on. I'm actually more impressed with the fabric when it's on than when it's off. It's not your typical knitwear. It does kind of have a bit of a stretch to it, so it makes it a lot more comfortable. But it's definitely warmer than most other knitwears because there's not like holes in it. So it's much more like a little bit of a cocoon of warmth in here. I like the little details down the side as well. It's quite flattering on like your silhouette. I have teamed it with my boots, of course. But this is kind of how I would wear it. When you wear a crossbody bag with a jumper dress, it kind of cinches it in a little bit more, making it just a little bit more flattering rather than it being just kind of like a sack on you. So I always like to wear crossbody bags with it. But I think this fits perfectly. The extra small was definitely the right size. You can still kind of like roll up the sleeves and it just looks really nice and cozy and feels cozy. You can layer it up with like gilets and jackets and things like that, it still looks really good. So I am super happy with this and I would definitely, definitely recommend it if you are looking for a sort of gray jumper dress at the moment in your wardrobe. So yeah, good one. Okay, so next up we have, this is definitely one of the items that I ordered for the trip. It's this kind of electric blue, but with crochet lacing over the top. And the sort of layer that sits over the top is a little bit longer, so it hangs down like that. It's sleeveless and it's got quite a high neck, which is always quite a flattering style on my body shape. And then it's also got this kind of open back design. It's from Lovers and Friends again. And I got this in an extra small as well. And this also retails for about 150 pounds. Um, I was gonna wear this with like sandals and stuff like that on the beach. So I still think that this will get a lot of wear this coming summer and spring. I'll definitely wear this on future trips. I just thought it was too beautiful not to miss. So I kind of just took the plunge and, oh, oh it's got pockets. It's got, oh, it's got pockets. Oh my gosh. Wow, that makes it even cooler. 
<laughs> Very happy about that. Let's pop it on and see what it looks like because there's no harm in planning your summer wardrobe now. So this is definitely an outfit that I wanted to wear when we were in the US. I literally love this dress so much. It's so detailed that you don't need to wear like lots of accessories with it for it to look nice. The fact that it's got pockets has literally made my life. I love that. I always feel so much better when I'm like, when I've got my hands in my pockets when I'm wearing a dress. It kind of like dresses it down. I've teamed it with my Gian Vito Rossi Podstofino shoes and my Dior Miss Dior Promenade bag. I think that's what it's called. I just sort of kept my accessories simple. I love the back detailing of this. It's just got this nice like open back. So you don't have to wear a bra with it or anything like that unless you want to wear a bra with it. I, some people might want to. <laughs> I love the neckline that kind of goes in like that. I'm actually thinking about it for my wedding dress as well because I just always find that it looks so flattering on. This is such a beautiful dress and another one that I will be packing on my next trip if I go anywhere, although I have none planned for the moment. Thank you, Lumi. <laughs> we have this kind of like chambray, light blue midi dress from Majorelle. Majorelle is one of my favorite brands on Revolve and they always do such amazing collections. They have a few items on ASOS at the moment which are beautiful, but the best collection is definitely on Revolve. But I don't think that you're gonna see much of this, me just holding it like that. So I'm gonna tell you the size. I got it in extra small and I'm gonna tell you the price and it was 150 pounds. And I'm just gonna try it on and show you what it looks like because what sold this to me was the model wearing it. So I'm hoping it's gonna look as good on me as it did on her. Let's go and try it on. So I don't think I could have imagined this looking any better on. I'm so happy with this. Okay, it's a little bit creased, I'll give you that. It does need an iron, but it has just come out of the box. Um, but it just fits so nicely. The way that it like wraps around and just cinches you in here. I do need to put a um, safety pin though. You can like gape open. It's great if you've got like sort of, you know when girls have those really nice like, I don't know, they have really nice bits here and it just looks amazing. Usually when they have like a smaller bust, it looks really nice. Um, on me, I kind of have to have that covered. But I love the color of it. It's got a split here, which looks really nice. And I've got it with my boots again, because this is more of a like autumnal look that I would go for if I was to wear this. But I just think it's super flattering on and it just sort of like pulls you in in all of the right places and just looks really nice in such a nice color. It looks great with browns and grays and that's kind of what my wardrobe is made up of. So it's a bit of a win. I think that this is the right size as well. I just need to put a safety pin in so that I'm not flashing everywhere. That's all. And it's one of those dresses that you can take like all year round because you could just put different accessories with it and layer it up. You can put things underneath it. Like if you wanted to, you could put a polo neck or a lace top underneath it just to give it another layer give it a little bit more warmth and then obviously put like sandals with it in the summer and then boots with it in the winter. So it's quite a sort of transitional piece and just super flattering on. I love this so much. I might wear this today actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, this dress is amazing. Look at this, oh my gosh. Look at that print. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got this kind of like a bronze thread highlighting the embroidery on this dress. This feels such good quality. Like it's honestly beautiful. And I love that it's got this kind of like sweetheart neckline and then the bardo sleeves as well. It is a very mini dress. Like this is, this is short. I'm taking Claire's advice on this video because she always says, if you see a dress that you like, get it because you know that there'll be a time that you need it and you won't be able to find a dress then. So when I saw this, I was like, I would so wear this and I would wear this in the summer. Oh my gosh, I just can't wait to have an excuse to wear it. This is from LPA The Label and I got this in a size extra small and the price is a little bit more this time. It was £175. So um, it is a little bit more pricey, but it feels very, very good quality. So let's pop it on and see what it looks like. I hope this fits so much. If it doesn't, I'm gonna get it made to fit because this is so beautiful. Okay, this dress fits like a dream. It is perfect. I can actually breathe in it and it still like clings to my figure in the places that you want it to, so like up here. Now obviously the arms aren't elasticated, so you are a little bit restricted when it comes to movement, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's about as high as I can lift my arm. However, if you love the dress, then I guess it's one of those things that you just weigh up, like do I just wear the dress and feel really nice in it and not move my arms that much, or do you look for another dress? I personally would probably still wear this dress and I would just grin and bear it. I've worn worse 
more restrictive dresses than this in my life, I can tell you that. But yeah, this just looks so pretty and you could layer it with like a sort of short sleeve polo neck if you didn't want it to be so sort of um, bare or you could put like a shirt under it which makes it a little bit more day dressy. I would probably wear this in the daytime as well but I'd roll the sleeves up on the shirt, have a really sort of rigid collar and it would look really pretty, probably stick some boots with it as well. Um, so yeah, I really like this dress, I think that it fits really nicely. It's a shame that the arms aren't a little bit more you know, movable, but I think it's beautiful. And um, I love the print on it, I love the fit, and I just think it makes a really nice dress, so I'll probably get the wear out of this as well, which is very, very good. Then we have this dress from L'Academy, which is another of my favorite brands on Revolve. And this is like this nude, sort of slinky, just relaxed fit shirt dress. And I wouldn't put a belt with this. I'd literally just let this drape on your skin. It's such soft fabric and it has these little thingies here on the top, which I'd never know the name of. And I thought again, that this would look really nice with boots and it might look really nice with a pair of Stuart Weitzman boots, but it may look nice with my leather Stuart Weitzman boots, but it also may look nice with my suede leather boots. <laughs> I literally just see everything with those boots because everything just looks so much better with those boots on. Um, but yeah, I saw this and again, it looked incredible on the model. So I just thought I would try it out myself. The color is this beautiful sort of like satin nude color with gold accents. And actually it would look really nice with my, um, what are they called? My Francesco Russo barely their heels, which you would have seen in my shoe haul. If you haven't watched that, I'll link it down below. But yeah, this will look perfect with that. So um, yeah, I got this in a size extra small and this was 155 pounds. So it's still in the same sort of region. And that's very much like the sort of mid range for on Revolve. So yeah, um, that's that one. Let's pop it on and see what it looks like. So I wore this shirt dress the exact same way that I wore the jumper dress, but I feel like the kind of principle is the same. This is the nude L'Academy shirt and I've popped it with my grey Stuart Weitzman boots and my Christian Dior Diorama bag. You can cinch this in if you want to, but I just, there's something kind of like effortless and chic about just letting it kind of hang. It can be a little bit difficult if you have like a larger bust, it can make you feel a little bit bigger than you are. So with this I'd probably wear a triangle bra just to sort of keep my lady bits in place but not make me feel too like big up top, if you know what I mean. But I love the material. This would definitely be something that you can wear for like dinners. You know when you go out for dinner and you don't really know what to wear, but you want to dress up, but you don't want to look like you're going to a ball or something like that. This is one of those items that you can sort of throw on, throw on with a pair of boots and still feel quite nice and put together and um, a little bit special. It definitely is a really nice material. It's like satiny and just very sort of like effortless. That's the word that I would use to describe this shirt. It's very effortless. You just like throw it on and it looks good. And I feel like I say that all the time in my hauls, but that is what I look for in clothes. Throw on, look good, win. <laughs> Finally, this was another item that I wanted to wear in America, but it sadly didn't arrive. This is from Tula Rosa and I have this dress in red, but this is the new color and it's kind of like a sort of baby pastel pink. Like it's very, very subtle, the pink on this. And I think that's what drew me to it. I think that this will look really nice with my Chloe lace-up sandals that I've got. I've had them for about two years now and I've worn them a lot, but they were such a great investment. Even though they cost so much, I've had so much wear out of them and whenever I wear them, I get so many compliments. But I thought that when I saw this dress, I thought, wow, this will look so, so nice with those and just with sandals in general. And it's one of those dresses that you just throw on and it looks incredible every single time. When I wore the red one in, where was it? In Monaco, everyone was like, oh my gosh, that dress is amazing. So when I saw it in this color, I was kind of like, I am going to have that one too. It's also got really cute pom-poms on the end, which are always fun. <laughs> I got this in a size extra small and this also costs 175 pounds so yeah a little bit higher than the rest of them but one of my favorite dresses and i know that i'll get the wear out of it because i've worn the other one so much so initially with this one i felt like i was cheating a little bit because i had the red one before so i kind of already knew how it fit however it seems like they've changed the sort of fit of this a little bit and it's, they've actually made it shorter, which I like because with the red one, you didn't know whether to put a belt with it or whether to just leave it hanging. I feel like on me personally, this is definitely a much better length and a much more flattering length. I've put this on and before Ali filmed this cutaway, he was like, 
it looks like you've got something that's kind of like inspired by the Jean-Paul Gaultier couture show that we went and watched in Paris because of the sleeves and actually he's right it does it looks like a sort of inspired Jean-Paul Gaultier um, dress which I love I'm not complaining about the show was absolutely beautiful so I wish I'd had it in time for America but I am definitely taking this with me on my next hot trip wherever that might be. I've styled it up with very light colours so I've got my Chloe sandals on which are a sort of pastel pink as well and then my grey Diorama bag again because you know that when I like something I like to wear it with everything <laughs> and um, yeah I like the way this looks there's no sort of dark colours it's very much a sort of spring outfit and, and even though the shape of the dress isn't particularly tight I feel like it still looks very nice on and isn't sort of unflattering especially with these sleeves it makes it look very feminine and um, yeah another good one another good one <laughs> I think that that is it I think that's it. There's so much tissue paper, oh my god. So that is everything in my Revolve haul. It feels so good to do another one of these because I know that so many of you liked the first one that I did. So it's very nice to be able to do another one. And also show you a piece of their knitwear because they do do knitwear and I would have ordered more had that order not been meant for America. But I'm very excited to wear the jumper dress especially at this time of year. The others are gonna get so much wear in the summer. Please do let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was in this haul and also let me know what you thought on the brands that I suggested in the beginning because I'd love to know what you thought. Other than that, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.